Hello, my name is George Kanavakis, and I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Pediatric Oral Health and Orthodontics at the University Center for Dental Medicine in Basel, Switzerland. In this video, I would like to present to you some results from an exciting ongoing collaboration between the universities of Basel and Bern. This study is about using voxel-based superimposition of serial CBCTs in order to assess facial soft tissues. When we superimpose three-dimensional CBCT volumes, we can either use landmarks that serve as our superimposition references or segment a surface from the entire volume, which will then be used as a reference structure or superimpose on the voxels describing a stable structure of reference. Voxel-based methods have the advantage of utilizing real volumetric data for the superimposition and therefore are prone to less error. In this study, we tested the voxel-based superimposition method applied through Dolphin software, which is largely used in clinical settings. Since modern orthodontics is mainly focused on the impact of treatment on the soft tissues, we wanted to know if this voxel-based superimposition method is reliable in assessing facial changes. To answer the question, we used 15 pairs of CBCTs taken on grown individuals. Two operators performed the voxel-based superimposition of pre- and post-treatment CBCTs on the anterior cranial base, as shown in the image on your screen. Then, facial soft tissue surfaces were extracted from the superimposed CBCT volumes as surface images, such as the ones on the right-hand side. The position of these images in space is determined by the position of the superimposed 3D volumes. In the next step, the distance between the superimposed surface images was measured at standardized areas of predetermined size, which you can see as colored dots on these surface images. This process was used to test the superimposition and segmentation error. In regard to the superimposition error, the results showed very good reproducibility when performed twice by each operator with error averaging below 0.5 millimeters and maximum error approaching one millimeter in very few cases. The same was evident when we compared the results of two independent operators. Again, average error did not exceed 0.5 millimeters with few cases showing higher amounts of superimposition error. The findings for segmentation error, which is unavoidable when extracting surface images from the 3D volumetric data were also promising. Segmentation error was minimal, averaging below 0.2 millimeters. The results of this study revealed that using the voxel-based superimposition method by Dolphin Software allows us to also evaluate changes in the facial soft tissues of growing patients. As 3D facial imaging and 3D photography become more applicable in everyday clinical practice, such findings provide valuable insight in the three-dimensional treatment outcome assessments. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy reading our article.